If you plan on using Google Classroom regularly with your students, it's important that you provide them with some basic instructions and experience using Google Classroom and setting your expectations for how they should be using it throughout the school year. What I'm going to show you is a simple activity that you can use to walk students through the process of receiving an assignment from you, looking at the instructions, and then submitting that assignment to you. I have several of these types of assignments and I typically do two or three of them in the first couple weeks of school to really make sure that students understand the process of um, receiving, submitting, and revising, looking at their grades, etc. So I'll leave the link to this um, selfie card activity in the uh, comments for this video. You're welcome to make a copy if you wish, but it's pretty simple. Basically, students are just going to create a little selfie card of them. Um, they can use the webcam in, um, this is a Google slide presentation, then just go to insert image from camera. That will allow them to take a picture and then just put a quick little bio on there. It's supposed to be super fast. The point of this assignment is Google Classroom, not the actual selfie assignment that you see here. Now I've already gone ahead and written up the assignment in Google Classroom, um, giving it a title, some real basic instructions. Um, I created a kind of an introduction um, topic in Classroom to uh, collect all of these activities. Now, one thing you can consider, I may not do this the very first time, but um, you might want to consider setting a very aggressive due date. Um, and time. So make this assignment due maybe 10 minutes before uh, the end of class um, so that students understand how to look for the due date, know what happens if they submit it late. They're just aware of that. Um, again, I don't want to them to panic about this. This is again a teaching opportunity just to help them be aware of all of these details. Now I've got my copy of the um, selfie card assignment and I'm using the students can edit so this is going to be a whole class collaborative experience uh, here. So I'm going to go ahead and assign that so they're going to see it and post it out. I'm going to flip over to my student account um, and uh, this is what I would tell my students verbally. So there's a lot of verbal instructions here to help students navigate Google Classroom. So I would have my students start on this home screen here. I would have them, you know, logged in, sitting here. I'm going to click the post button. The first thing that I'm going to um, show them is that this white area in the class card will display upcoming assignments. So the, the assignment that is due the soonest will be at the top. So we can see this one today, due at 1159, selfie card, something due on Monday as well. So just remind them that this is where you can get a quick glimpse of everything that will be uh, due in the coming days and, uh, and weeks. Now we're going to go ahead and open the assignment. Uh, or the class and pull in here and now my student is taken to the stream. So the next thing I want to show students is that all of the most recent updates for the class will be posted in the stream. So whatever the last thing that I have posted will be at the top. So anytime you go into classroom certainly can look at the due dates but you can also look at what has been uh, recently posted. Those two are not going to necessarily be the same. If the due date for this assignment was later then um, it may not appear on the class card but it would appear here at the top of the stream. So uh, we see that something is uh, posted, it's due soon, and to get the information about that assignment, you know, what do we have to do, what are the instructions, we have to open the assignment. And we just click on the link to open it. So again, I'm walking my students through this. Um, I'm giving them these verbal instructions. They are following along with me on their iPads or Chromebooks. And so now we're into the assignment details. Now I'm going to walk my students through this and say, okay, we see the title up at the top. There are some uh, very little instructions right here. So you can look at that. And then any files that I have attached for you to look at um, will be listed here as well. So for this assignment, we're going to go ahead and open up the link, click, and now the students would begin creating their selfie cards. So I would give them 10 minutes or so to finish their cards. And um, then once everyone is done, again, I'm going to do this together as a class. I'm going to say, all right, now you finish your selfie cards. And we have to go back to Google Classroom to 
um, submit our assignment. And it might be a good idea to, you know, just describe this in terms of a, you know, a piece of paper, a worksheet that they have done in the past. It's like, just because you did the worksheet and you filled it out at, at your desk, if you don't hand it in to me, if you don't put it into the, the basket, put it into the, the, um, the shelf on my desk, I can't grade it. I don't know that you've done it. Google Classroom works the same way. So we're going to come back to Google Classroom when we're finished and we're going to go ahead and select this mark as done button and click that and it's going to say are you sure and say yep we'll say mark is done now remember and tell your students if you're ever concerned you don't know if you've turned it in or not just come back to the assignment and as long as you see this done button right here you know that it's submitted and i have it if it doesn't say done then you didn't turn it in now you will note that there's this unsubmit button and if you make a mistake if you got to fix something you're welcome to click unsubmit and make those changes but remember if you unsubmit it after the deadline and then resubmit it it's going to be marked as late and this is now a good time for you to talk about your late work policy what happens if an assignment is late um, you know explain that very clearly so that students understand the consequences uh, of doing that Google Classroom doesn't prevent a student from turning things in after the deadline um, it just marks it and then it's up to you to handle that uh, as you wish so we've got that done um, now you might want to uh, also point out to your students a couple of different things is that if you have a question about your assignment you're not sure you're confused you'd like me to know something about uh, what you've submitted you can always send me a private comment by typing down here at the bottom just type uh, in a message only i will see that comment now if you'd like to ask a question to your classmates you need some help from them you can go up to the top here where it says add class comment and if you um, enter something there, everyone in the class will be able to see that. Now, the class comment feature we've talked about in a different video. If that's not something you want to enable, you, the teacher, can turn that off um, and that, that won't be visible. It's up to you. You also want to have that conversation about your uh, policies re regarding class comments. And again, I've got a, a different video where I've outlined um, some of my thoughts on that. Those are the key things that they need to know about submitting their assignment. So I would have them do that. Now, if you've got the time, the same day, if you've got maybe 10, 15 minutes left in class, or the next day if you don't have time, I also want to show them what it looks like when they receive an assignment back. So I'm going to switch back to my uh, teacher page. I'm going to go into my selfie card assignment. So I would pull this up on the screen in front of the students have them again be logged into Google Classroom looking at the assignment and I'm gonna say I know when you have submitted an assignment because this is what I see and so here's uh, Polly we were just uh, using her account and you can see that Polly's uh, assignment is done and so it marks it like there's no confusion about you know when it was turned in or not I can even see the exact time of day that you submitted the assignment so again no discussion about that at all um, so show them that so they understand what you see uh, the private comments and, and all of that say now when I receive your work I will be um, providing you some feedback and a grade so this assignment is uh, worth 10 points and so I'm gonna change the the grade value and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give everyone 10 points for participating so I'll give you 10 10 10 10 10 just doing it for everybody now I'm going to return this assignment to you now this is again just like a piece of paper you turn it into me I look at it I write your grade on the paper then I hand it back to you so I'm gonna go ahead and click the return button and I'm gonna give you all a little bit of feedback and say thanks for helping me demonstrate Google Classroom so I'm going to hit the return button so that you can see what this looks like. Now it'll take a second, but now your Google Classroom will be updated. So Polly, go ahead and refresh the page. And um, a lot of times, anytime, if you're looking at the page and I make a change before you can see that, you usually need to refresh. Okay, so just hit the refresh button. You might need to explain where that's located up in the top right or left corner. Now when you've received your work back, 
the done button, that green done button is going to change and it's going to say returned. It shows you that it's been sent back to you. Your grade is going to be up in the top right corner of the screen. And then any feedback that I've given you is going to be, if you scroll down a little bit, it's going to be underneath the files that I've sent. And so you can see this is a comment that only you and I can see. The rest of the class can't see that. If you have questions or things, um, you can type them in there. Now, sometimes throughout the year, we may do an assignment where I'm going, you're going to su uh, submit it to me. I'm going to look at it and then I'm going to give you some things to revise or fix. Maybe when we do our persuasive essay or a research assignment. And so I may send it back to you with some comments to say, hey, I need you to fix these errors, you know, add a new citation or something like that. Then you're going to have to reopen that file, your, your uh, document, fix those things and click the resubmit button. And that says, okay, I fixed those things. I'm ready for you to take a look again. Now, I'll let you know about that, um, you know, when we get to those assignments, when I want you to resubmit those things. But this is the basics of how you're going to get your work from me through Google Classroom, how you're going to submit it to me, and then what it looks like for it to be sent back uh, to you when I've returned it to you. So that's a quick overview of, you know, what I would do with my students to explain Google Classroom to them. Doing this one time will not be sufficient. You're going to need to do this probably two to three times with them to really help them understand your expectations and how this works. You want to do a variety of different um, things. I would be very patient with your students for the first month of the school year. Um, a lot of students will do the work in Google Docs or Google Slides, but they forget to click the submit button. So I would be pretty lenient initially, but kind of ratchet up the accountability over time to uh, eventually say, you know, this is the expectation. You need to submit your work um, when you're finished. Hopefully that's a helpful overview of, uh, you know, how you can train your students to use Google Classroom effectively this school year.